All right, we've started to see the clouds and we're also now seeing a few sprinkles, but earlier today there was some sun. This morning started out pretty nice. It was chilly. Temperatures got back into the 50s this afternoon and we were holding near 60 for several hours. You see a little bit of rain hit the camera lens just briefly. Our numbers hit 59 officially for the high. 33 was the low this morning and currently we've got 50s across the board until you get back to the mountains where it's a little cooler. Satellite radar shows a little bit, but this is not the kind of rain we're wanting. We're wanting the stuff that's coming tomorrow. This has been real light and patchy sprinkles and brief showers rolling through through parts of the Piedmont back to our west is where the active weather is. You can see severe weather. Some warnings are out down in parts of Louisiana and Mississippi. There's heavier rain in that part of the country with the system, and there's the area with a bullseye for this evening, a moderate or enhanced risk of severe weather down there. And then outside of that, there's a marginal and also a slight. Now, severe weather reports so far very limited on the Gulf Coast. We've had more rain uh, and heavy uh, some hail reports back up to the northwest. Now here comes the weather for tomorrow. This cold front's coming our way. This warm front's going to be dancing around the area and that's going to make forecasting the temperature kind of a nightmare because one side of it's going to be considerably cooler than the other and that's going to be setting right up on top of us. So we're going to see a range in our coverage area tomorrow from mild to cool weather. That system then slides by and as it's coming through here, we have that level one threat here in the Piedmont for anything severe. What that means, a level one threat is typically you may get some storms with wind gusts up close to 50. It takes up closer to 60 to be considered a severe storm and hail under an inch, but I don't think hail is going to be a problem. But there is a small chance there could be a tornadic cell, but we're way down the scale. It's a 2% chance, very low, technically two to less than 5% is what we have for tomorrow with that system within a 25 mile area of any point. Now, as you look at the model here, you can see the rain rolling through tomorrow and we'll see it all the way into the afternoon and the evening. And as we work our way through the night tomorrow night, it starts to shut down overnight tomorrow night. We may still get a shower. Some models indicate we might see something early Wednesday, but most of it's going through pretty early and total rainfall is looking great. Let's hope this does not change. It was showing close to an inch most of the middle to end of late last week. Now we're showing over an inch and a half of rain here in the Piedmont and that'll help us 70 for the next two days at the beach with some showers. The mountains are looking at the showers tomorrow 51 and then back to partly cloudy skies and 50 on Wednesday. Piedmont forecast 50 degrees this evening and mostly cloudy overnight. We'll see some rain moving in while you're sleeping low down to 44. Tomorrow will be in the 40s through the morning, but in the afternoon we think that warm front will go just far enough to get us up to about 58. If it stays south of us, we may stay in the low to mid 50s. So again, keep in mind the front's going to play with us tomorrow. Rain and possibly a thunderstorm. Here's your seven day forecast. 59 chance of a shower early on Wednesday morning, and then drying out Thanksgiving Day 56 and sunny and then staying in the mid 50s and lows in the upper 30s to near 40 after that.